it feels good. This feels good. So Sleepy Joe had a couple protesters over there. What this beautiful pizza restaurant over there, right? He had about three sleepy protesters. I think these these three guys in their bike leathers right here, you guys are in charge of the protesters, deal? They'll be torn to pieces. They won't last three seconds. You know, by the way, what is it? Trump always has the toughest guys, right? The toughest people in general, the toughest men and women, but have you ever noticed that? It's all the protesters. They're all these little beta people. Like, have you ever noticed that? You know, the toughest people in this country are with Trump, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, my father wants the strongest country from an economic perspective, the strongest country from a military perspective. Um, he wants people to be able to live their lives. He wants to have very safe communities. He wants to have safe suburbs. Um, he wants school choice. Yeah. And Homeland Security and everyone else, we love you guys. We truly, truly do. You are the best and bravest we have. Well, you know, we're all over the state. I was in Pittsburgh yesterday or two days ago, and I was in Washington County, Pennsylvania, and my brother was in Harrisburg today. And um, listen, we're gonna be all over the state. There's not gonna be a, a corner of the state that, you know, we don't touch. I was with my father in Scranton um, a couple weeks ago, as you know, and in Wilkesbury, and uh, you know, we're gonna... In fact, I think my father's greatest characteristic, I think his greatest attribute is that he's a fighter. And, 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 and trust me, guys, as a family, the last damn thing we ever needed to do was get into politics. I mean, the, these are truly, truly horrible people, most of them. They want one thing, they want power. They want to be in office forever, right? I mean, you know, politics corrupts these people, right? It, again, Biden, 47 years in, in office. The last thing our family needed to do was get into politics. The amount of arrows, the amount of punches that we've taken in the face each and every single day. I mean, trust me, trust me, my father's life would have been better having not gotten into this. It would have been more glamorous. It would have been better. He would have had more friends. We would have lost a lot. And by the way, they're not even friends, right? I mean, they're they're not friends. You guys are friends. They're not friends. You guys are friends. You want the person who's going to be a fighter. And hey, you know, does it rub somebody the wrong way sometimes on Twitter? Yes, but you know what? You don't want to take the fighter out of the fighter. The and anybody who says that women don't like Trump, there's a hell of a lot of women here tonight. But we love you, Pennsylvania. Our family loves you. God bless you. God bless this great state, and God bless America. And thank you all. We love you guys. We love you.